Let's look at how to align objects in PowerPoint 2010 and specifically what we're going to look at is the new feature uh, called Smart Guides. Let's go to a new slide here. And on this slide I have three objects and uh, we'll just do a quick overview of the Smart Guides and, and they're really pretty simple. When you grab an object and say I want to align uh, these so that the centers are aligned. When I grab it you'll notice as I move it up here the tops are aligned so you can see that dotted line and then there uh, the centers are aligned and so it's a quick way to align. If I wanted to align the bottoms I just go ahead and do that you can see the bottoms aligned and let's say I want the red dot to be aligned to the bottom as well uh, you can see how that works. So using smart guides is a really quick way uh, to align objects without having to go through a bunch of mouse clip, uh, clicks. Uh, just as a quick overview let's look at some of the other ways you can align objects. Um, say you have an object and we want these to be centered. I'm going to go ahead and select these all. If I go to the arrange option here, feature, and then you can see I've got some alignment tools. And let's say I want to go ahead and align them by middle. I can do that. So you've got the alignment tools here. Uh, you also have, if you notice down here, you've got uh, grids and uh, uh, grid lines that you can use. Uh, you can access them from there, or you can right click and you can see you've got grids and guides. And when we look at it, you can uh, see some of the features that you have so you can snap objects to grid so you can display the grid so you can see what the grid looks like and then it makes it easier uh, to do some alignment so you can see how the snapping works um, let's go ahead and go back to that uh, you can turn the grid off uh, here you can turn the smart guides on or off you can also use these drawing guides and drawing guides are really handy I'll show you how that works um, Drawing guides are nice because you can create guides that when you go to other slides, the guides are still intact. So it's a good way to align objects across slides. And so you can see, so if I have an object here, let's copy this here. And so I go to this slide and I want it aligned. Um, I can go ahead and paste this and then uh, you can see that it's aligned. So um, that's a nice way to use the guides. And if you want to make multiple guides, you just click on it. You can drag it. If you hold the control key down, you can uh, create multiple guides. So it's a good way to create um, objects that could potentially snap into a shape here, and then all the objects could kind of snap in that area. So you've got a number of ways to do alignment. Uh, one of the new features, again, in PowerPoint 2010 is the smart guides, and that'll save you a lot of time uh, for simple alignment.